Before TikTok gets banned, you need to be leveraging TikTok ads, honestly, as much as possible to grow and scale your Shopify store. TikTok is literally a gold mine right now for virtually every single e-commerce brand. And in today's video, I'm gonna walk you through step-by-step step how to set up your TikTok ads in under 10 minutes. Okay, so to get started, what you wanna do is click the link in the description down below, or it will be in the first pinned comment. It's gonna take you to this page. Now, what you're gonna wanna do is select Start Now, and then what you're gonna wanna do is hit Sign Up Now. Now, if you're watching this and you've already signed up, then you're good to go. If you haven't signed up, you need to select sign up now. And essentially, it's going to ask you to either sign up using your already existing TikTok account, or you can sign up using an email and password. It's entirely up to you. For me personally, I just used my TikTok that I already had set up. That's the easiest way to get signed up. And it's gonna ask you a whole bunch of information. You plug that in and then you're gonna get to this next screen. Okay, so once you finish signing up, you're gonna hit a screen that looks like this. Now, if you've ever ran Facebook ads before, it looks very, very similar, okay? You have your campaign level, your ad group level, and your ad level, okay? At your campaign level is where you set your objective. So this is where you pretty much tell TikTok what you're trying to do with your campaign. At the ad group level is really where you do all of your targeting. This is where you can do uh, interest-based targeting where you try to find people based on interest. You can do things based on spending power. There's a lot of cool targeting options that you have within TikTok, which is really dope. And then at the ad level is where you can place your content. This is where you put your creatives. This is what the end user is going to see when you run your ads. So it's very, very similar to Facebook ads, okay? Now, what you're gonna wanna do is select create to create your first campaign, and I'm gonna walk you through it step by step. So if you're trying to make sales from this campaign, which you should be doing, right? You wanna select website conversions. You can really name this whatever you like. It doesn't matter, but for the sake of this tutorial, I'm gonna do test campaign just to keep it moving, all right? Everything else is gonna be a little bit more of an advanced strategy. We're not gonna worry about that right now because this is your first campaign and you're just trying to get up and running, okay? So what you're gonna do is select continue. And then now we're gonna get to the ad group level. Now I recommend for the ad group name just to do broad targeting and then do like 18 to 65 plus and then you can put in whatever country that you're targeting, okay? This is what I always do. I always put who I'm targeting first and then, you know, what age range. Oh, I forgot the uh, six. And then what country I'm targeting. So this is kind of a formula that I use for all my ads. But honestly, you could do whatever you want. But this is just where you just know who you're targeting, okay? And if you don't know what broad targeting is, just to give you... Uh, you know, understanding broad targeting just means wide open. You're keeping it fairly broad, as you can see up here. You're not really doing a lot of restrictions in what you're telling um, TikTok who you're going after. Broad targeting works very, very well, and it just allows TikTok, you know, the biggest range of people to target. So they're going to do, you know, all the hard work for you. OK, that's the simplest way that I can put it. OK, so next, what you're going to want to do is make sure that you have your TikTok pixel set up. Um, if you've watched any of my other videos, I stress making sure that you have your pixel because without your pixel, you're going to see terrible, terrible results. Now, if you're running sh something like Shopify, all you have to do is uh, set up the TikTok app. Um, through Shopify and it's going to help you set up your pixel, right? It's very, very easy. Um, so you want to make sure that you do that. So for the sake of this video, I'm not going to, you know, go through that process, but all you have to do is hit create and it's going to walk you through setting it up for your Shopify store. Okay. So we're going to select test. And then the optimization that you want to make is complete payment because you want to make sales. You want people to complete a payment on your website. Okay. Next, what you're going to want to do is select placement and you're going to get rid of this global app bundle and Pangle. This is a waste of time. Don't do that. You only want to be running on TikTok. Okay. And then next, what you're gonna to wanna to do is select your location. For me, I'm in the United States. 
So boom, that's it. Now, if you have a product to where it skews male or female, then you can do that. For the products that I sell, I just select all, um, but this is all up to your discretion. And then I recommend taking it off all ages and doing 18, 35, 44, 45 to 55 plus, okay? Now, again, this is up to your discretion. If you know that your target audience is 18 to 34, then only select that. But I recommend testing 18 to 55 plus and going from there. And then all languages is fine, especially if you're going out to the United States, you don't need to put anything in there. I normally leave all spending power as is household income as is interests don't or audiences you don't need to put anything in there and interests you don't need to put anything in there as well okay now for daily budget i recommend starting off of just twenty dollars a day that is all you need to get started now they're going to recommend that you use seventy dollars but when you're first starting out i recommend with a smaller start with a smaller budget and then if you're starting to see better results, then you can always scale it up from there. Um, but whenever I'm testing a product, I always start with a small budget and then add budget over time, okay? Start date is today. I know a lot of people recommend starting at 12 a.m. That's what I recommend as well. And then for optimization goal, it's always gonna be conversions. You want conversions. You're gonna leave target CPA alone because um, you're just starting out. So you wanna keep this uh, all broad and then that's really it for your campaign and ad group next we're going to go to actually setting up your actual ad okay so now we're at the ad level this is where you can upload your content so you can start running ads on tiktok and it's actually very very easy to do for a creative name all you need to do is put in whatever the creative is so you just know what it is and then i'm just going to do creative one and broom okay now you can use content from your tiktok if you want to test it out and run them as actual ads you can do that by using your tiktok account it's just called spark ads you would hit you know use and click this button and then you can use content that you've already posted on tiktok which i think is very very cool but for this tutorial we're not going to do that we're just gonna uh, use content that is uploaded. So what you're gonna do is click upload to upload your videos. Now I've already uploaded some videos. And so let's just say I wanna use this. Hit confirm. And then this is where you can add your text. So, you know, I recommend keeping it short and sweet. And then you could do something like limited time offer shop now right and this is gonna show up here you know i would really keep it four or five words to max you really don't need a lot of copy with tiktok ads and you know it's pretty smooth and then th here you want to put your call to action call to action should always be shop now with e-commerce very simple and then that's really it all you need to do is put in your URL, boom, and that is it. That's how you create your first ad. Now, I recommend running three creatives at a time, okay? So all you have to do if you wanna add additional creative to this, to this campaign, all you need to do is select add and then go through the process again. And so you wanna do this two times. I recommend when it comes to selecting your creatives, you create creatives that are 15 seconds or less and they look native to TikTok. So this should feel like something that people see, you know, scrolling through their For You feed. People hate ads, so your ad shouldn't look like an ad. I know that sounds crazy, but <laughs> you really don't want your ad to look like an ad. Okay, as you can see here, setting up your TikTok ads is actually fairly simple and straightforward, but seeing success with your TikTok ads is a whole other ball game. But I will say when you combine TikTok ads with a good email and SMS strategy, I have personally seen the best results. So if you don't have a good email and SMS strategy, I recommend that you check out this video right here.